Old Man Greed finds a weird golden device, he turns on the switch, and it stretches out six legs at the bottom. Right after that, its legs insert directly into his skin. He uses all his strength to remove the device from his hand, and its legs retract back. His wife gives him a simple bandage, and the bleeding stops. However, things are just getting started. At night, Gree suddenly feels extremely thirsty, and he drinks all the water in the fridge. Looking at the raw meat in the fridge, he even has the desire to eat it directly. The next morning, when Gree looks in the mirror, he is surprised to find that many of the wrinkles on his face have disappeared. He suspects that these changes are caused by that golden device. But where did that thing come from anyway? 400 years ago, a mysterious alchemist made a device called Kronos. With proper use, it can give people eternal life. 400 years later, a strange-looking man was found in a collapsed building, and it was the same alchemist. He was pierced through the chest by debris, and soon passed away. Subsequently, the alchemist's personal belongings went into the antique market in various ways. A few days ago, antique dealer Greed bought an angel statue at an auction house. As always he puts it up for sale in his antique shop, at a higher price. On this day, Greed finds cockroaches crawling out of the angel statue. After closer inspection, he discovers that the base of the statue is hollow, so he opens the base and finds the Kronos device. After that he was injured by the device, and he becomes younger with it meanwhile. A billionaire named Guardia is also looking for it. He has been looking for it for 40 years. Guardia learns that Creed Shop is selling the angel statue, so he sends his nephew, Ron, to buy it. The next day, when Gree comes to work, he finds that his antique shop has been severely damaged. This is the buyer's revenge against him, since the Kronos device has already been taken out of the statue. Gloria is old. His body is getting weaker and weaker. To gain eternal life, Gordia invites Gree to his house. He intends to make a deal with Gree. Gordia takes out the alchemist's notes and tells Gree about the origin of the Kronos device. It turns out that there is a mysterious insect imprisoned inside the device. When the insect sucks enough blood, it will release a powerful substance that rejuvenates its user. The Kronos device must be used in a proper way, otherwise there will be unimaginable consequences. Gloria continues, saying that he is willing to share half of his wealth. If Gree gives him the device, Gree refuses his offer. Back at home, Gree uses the Kronos device again. He is already addicted to it. Then he finds that the injuries, the device left on his body heal in less than a minute, which means his body is getting younger. However, Gloria was right. Using the Kronos device does have side effects. The next day, Bree and his wife are attending a New Year's Eve party, and everything is going very well just then. A man at the next table suddenly gets a nosebleed, and Gree is surprised to find that he actually has a craving for blood. So he follows the man into the washroom. When the man leaves, Gree gets down and licks the blood that the man dropped on the floor. While Gree is enjoying himself, someone walks in and then he is knocked unconscious. He wakes up to find himself kidnapped. And the kidnapper is already his nephew, Ron. Ron asked him to hand over the Kronos device, but Gree refuses to do so. Ron doesn't want Gloria to get eternal life anyway, because then he won't be able to inherit Gloria as well. So Ron knocks Gree out again, puts Gree in the car, and pushes the car off the cliff. Then he throws down a bottle of wine, so the police will think it was an accident, caused by a drunk driver. Ron goes back and reports it to Guardia, only to have Guardia beat him up. Guardia explains that, anyone who has used the Kronos device will be revived, as long as their heart is not pierced. Later Bree's body is found. The body is transported to the funeral home, and next they are going to cremate it. The cremator starts the furnace, and pushes the whole coffin in. However, Brie had long since climbed out of the coffin. At the moment, Brie is shocked that the Kronos device can not only make him younger, but also revive him. Brie sneaks towards his home, and upon entering, he runs into his granddaughter Aurora. Aurora is not scared by his face, and she helps to hide him in the attic. Brie bandages his hand. He needs some rest, and thinks about what to do next. In the morning, 
The sunlight comes in through the holes in the roof, causing his skin to burn, apparently. This is one of the costs of using the Kronos device to find a way to turn back into his original form. Gree decides to steal the alchemist's notes from Gordy. Aurora is worried about his grandfather and goes along with him. After some searching, they successfully find the notebook in Guardia's house, but the most important page is missing. That's when Guardia appears. It turns out that he knew Gree would come, so he destroyed that page. Gree begs Gloria to tell him the method to turn back into a real human, but Gloria rips off his skin. Underneath his rotten skin is a new pale skin, which is a sign of immortality. Gree panics. He doesn't want to become a blood-sucking monster. Guardia says, he will tell him the solution, but first he has to hand over the Kronos device. But just as Gree takes out the Kronos, Guardia stabs him in the stomach. Then Guardia holds him to the ground and aims at his heart. At the critical moment, Aurora appears and saves Gree. And just then, Ron rushes over. He finds Cordy on the ground, but instead of saving him, Ron crushes his throat with his foot. And now Ron can finally inherit Cordy as well. And when a man owns a great fortune, then the next thing he wants most is to live forever. Ron catches up with Gree, who is clearly no match for him. Gree let Aurora go first. Then he holds Ron and jumps with him. After a while, Gree comes back to life and finds that his craving for blood becomes even stronger. He doesn't want to be controlled anymore. So he painfully destroys the Kronos device back home. Gree dies in the company of his wife and granddaughter. Poor Gree, if it wasn't for the Kronos device, he might have lived a few more years. 